Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk all about the port of Puerto Plata in Dominican Republic, right after this. Hi everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our channel. If you're just checking us out for the first time, we're just trying to give you some great information about cruising and cruise life. If that sounds good to you. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out and we appreciate everyone's support. So today we're going to talk all about Puerto Plata. If you see me glance up at all, I'm just looking up at the TV, uh, which has notes on it. So uh, our big goal here is to try to give you the as much information as we possibly can about all things cruising so you can make uh, plans for a great cruise vacation. Part of that is being prepared when you go to specific ports. So today... We're gonna talk about Puerto Plata, where you get off the ship, what's around you, what are some good things to do in the area, and just some helpful tips of things to know. So uh, there are a few different ports. There are two different ports in Puerto Plata. There is Amber Cove and there is Taino Bay. Taino Bay, I think that's how it's pronounced, is a newer port uh, for the, in the past year or so. Uh, Carnival uses Amber Cove which has been there for maybe like eight years or so. And now with Royal and MSC and these other uh, cruise ships coming to Puerto Plata, they created another uh, little cruise port there. So Taino Bay is new, it looks new, it is very nice. Um, it is a post pandemic uh, or you know wherever we're at with the pandemic cruise port. So first thing you notice when you get off this ship here is it doesn't look exactly like some other cruise ports. If you watched my video the other day, I talked a lot about why we like San Juan where you get off and you just walk into the city. So all ports are not like that, obviously. And the ones that aren't are generally ones that have like a very uh, curated experience for you when you get off. You'll have your Senior Frogs, your Effie Jewelers, your Diamonds International, your Del Sol, your Caraloa, and then some like straw market-ish type things in the port. This is not exactly like that, which is nice, I think, because I, those are the ports that really drive me crazy where you get off and it's like you don't get any of the culture uh, unless you take a 15 minute cab ride out of there, which sucks, but it is the pure fact of sometimes the port isn't really close to the city, so sometimes you have to do that. But it is nice when you can just get off the ship and experience whatever that uh, city or island has to offer. So here in Puerto Plata, you're going to get off. And the first thing you're going to notice is that there is a built up port area where there are some, there's a giant pool, there's a DJ, there's Caribbean music playing. Um, and it's pretty vast. Uh, there are little huts there. There are restaurants, uh, two restaurants. There are some bars. And the pool is free, the day beds and the chairs are all free. They're first come, first serve. Obviously, food and drinks are additional. Two restaurants there. Uh, one is Dominican restaurant that serves Dominican food. The other one serves Mexican food. Uh, you know, they're both pretty reasonable. And then drinks, are, of course, are uh, not included. Uh, so you would have to pay for drinks. And they, the drinks weren't crazy expensive there either. So the other thing is you will see there are some shopping things. There's always going to be some shopping there, which we can't avoid. But there are a few other cool things there. So there is Monkey Island there where uh, you could pay. It's like 25 bucks. You can go in and uh, they have spider monkeys that you can. Obviously, they're going to climb all over you and uh, and do all of those other fun things that you would do with monkeys. There is an excursion called Monkey Adventures, which we did. Our team did uh, on Royal and that one was great. There are more monkeys there. It's a little bit bigger and built out, but this one's great. It's right off the ship. You could do it. Um, and there are a lot of fun things there. So other things to keep in mind is you really can't walk to a beach in the little port area there. You're going to have to take Uber or a taxi. Uber is available on the island, so you can do that. Uh, or just jump in a taxi and head down to a beach. Other than that, those are the things that are going on primarily. I do recommend excursions. There are some things in the Dominican that you want to look for. One, obviously, again, I talk about it all the time. Anything where you can experience the food, the culture, the drinks, the coffee, any of those things, you're going to find those things in the Caribbean a ton. So Dominican is really well known for vanilla. So any tour that includes vanilla and then obviously a food, coffee, or culture tour, uh, those are going to be your best bets in the Dominican Republic. And of course, you could just do a beach. Uh, you can get off, jump on a beach excursion, or just take a taxi down to a beach. Again, you're in another country, so you do have to be careful or just be aware of your surroundings. 
just like any other big city or big place that you would go to. So we're from the Philadelphia area. If people come to visit Philadelphia, they're like, is it safe? Of course, there are safe areas and there are sketchy areas just like everywhere else. So the thing to keep in mind is even in, you know, like a big city like Philadelphia, you can be completely fine. And then you walk three blocks over and all of a sudden it's not fine. So you, you do have to be careful in other countries. Make sure you have your key card, your uh, cruise card with you. Uh, if you uh, are worried about anything, make sure you have your passports and uh, don't, you know, don't carry a ton of money or anything with you uh, if you're leaving the port area. So just be careful, just like you would everywhere else you go. Otherwise, Puerto Plata is wonderful. Uh, the culture is great. The people are great. So go have a good time. Enjoy Puerto Plata. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. We're happy to answer them for you. There's also a great article on Royal Caribbean blog, uh, com about Puerto Plata, uh, Taino Bay. So check that out as well. Matt and Jenna and everyone over there does a really good job. So support them as well. And other than that, we will see everybody tomorrow. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye.